Yeah, so we were down there in what, like what you call an acid wasteland. Nothing like what the Blue Planet's oceans used to be. Our mission, to check out some old skeletons of humanity's reach under the waves. Found the ruins of Aquataka and the Spectre submarine. It was eerie. Let me tell you, like a ghost town, but underwater. We found something none of us expected. A manuscript, but no ordinary one. This thing was penned on the skin of a deep sea creature. We figured out later that the subs tech had gone kaput. I, I, logs were kept by the scientists in charge, a woman with some serious dedication of her craft. Meticulously noted every little detail till the end. It was something about a strange encounter with an intelligent sea creature right there in the dark. Logbook entry, Dr. Eva Martinez, underwater exploration team. During the reef survey, we noticed corals and anemones within silica domes. These structures filter out carbon, reducing acidity. The domes create a less acidic microenvironment, reminiscent of pre-acidification conditions, acting as a lifeline for these species. Life is sparse here, but holothurians or sea cucumbers show remarkable resilience, indicating a gradual shift toward equilibrium in these once threatened habitat. This suggests a gradual shift toward less acidic conditions and a potential slow recovery of marine ecosystem. The metamorph crab possesses a unique ability seemingly navigating between dimensions. It transitions flawlessly from a bleached, calcified reef to a vibrant, colorful reef brimming with life in a lower acid environment. journey into the mysterious depths of the Thetis Sea aboard a compact submarine. Along the fringe, we encounter an awe-inspiring sight, vast, floating whale reefs. These living behemoths play a novel role in cooling the overly warm sea, a natural adaptation to the changing climate. I caught a glimpse of a flounder squid, its bioluminescent skin illuminating the darkness, a beacon of life well adapted to the acidic deep. On a next bold mission, we piloted the Spectre submarine toward the enigmatic Tethys Abyss. The Hadean Zone greeted us with its own alien spectacle. Giant diatoms drifted by Insect crabs skittered along the seabed and the occasional flash of radioactive fish cut through the dark. Each sighting is a piece of the puzzle revealing what thrives in the profound depths of our planet. As we reached the Tethys Trench, life thrived in a mesmerizing display just above the seabed. With frond-like tentacles swaying in the gentle currents. Amidst this alien ballet, one creature's striking eyes met mine, an unspoken understanding bridging our two worlds in the deep, silent expanse.
bringing that manuscript up to the light of day, it felt like we were carrying a piece of history, a testament to human will and the mystery of the deep. It was like we were bridging two worlds, the high-tech present and the desperate, disconnected past. She documented her last days in a way that is, I gotta say, a testament to the spirit of exploration, no matter how rough the waters get.